Good day, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 20th day of August, and today's topic is titled, The Basis of Blessing. So before we get started, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he too can be your Lord and Savior if he's not yet, and if you're a fellow believer and you've uh, gone by the wayside or you're discouraged or something, hopefully this uh, will be a help and a blessing to you. That's why I do these devotionals. So um, praise the Lord and uh, thank the Lord for these men that put these devotionals together and for Brother Dean and Sister Patty and their scripture songs. Amen. And also for this uh, man that uh, put these uh, um, hymn stories together and hymns. Amen. And the stories behind these hymns and this book that I read also on the broadcast. So praise the Lord for that. <clears throat> All right, so before we get started on today's topic, we're going to sing today's scripture song, which is from 1 Corinthians 14, 33. So press play and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Amen. 1 Corinthians 14, 33. For God, For God is, is not, not the author, author of confusion, confusion but of peace, as, as in all churches of the saints. saints. Amen. God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, but of peace. And God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, but of peace. As in all churches of the saints, as in all churches of the saints. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, but of peace. Amen. He sure isn't. He sure is the God of peace. And if you have a God of confusion, well, it's not the God of the Bible. And you need to get rid of that God, because God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. Amen. And in all the churches of the saints, and that's anybody that's a born-again believer, and has trusted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, so we'll try that again towards the end of the broadcast, and perhaps we'll sing yesterday's. I know it was a little longer one, but perhaps we'll give that a try again. <clears throat> All right, so now it's time to get into today's topic for August 20th, titled, The Basis of Blessing. And it says here in Proverbs 10, 22, The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. And he addeth no sorrow with it. Amen. Proverbs 10, 22. And today's author is G.G. That, I believe, is the initials for Guy Goodall. Make sure here, yep, uh, Brother Guy Goodall. And he's the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Hudson Falls, New York. So let me read you what he wrote here on this topic of the basis of blessing. <clears throat> he says here, there are two categories of blessing in God's word. General blessings, unsaved and unsaved as a result of natural forces, and special blessings on saved folk that obey God's word in their daily lives. God's natural forces send rain on the fields of anyone, obedient or, un or, or di disobedient. Or as the Bible says, the just and the unjust. So again, God's natural forces send rain on the fields of anyone, those that are uh, obedient or disobedient, or as the Bible says, just and unjust. <clears throat> Breathing is a blessing. Our bodies need oxygen to survive, right? They sure do. So wearing a mask doesn't really help you much when you need to breathe in oxygen. It just uh, makes you breathe in your own, your own uh, air and uh, doesn't do any good. So you need to take that mask off and... Breathe in the fresh air, amen, and uh, don't let anybody tell you that you need to put a mask on. So take that mask off and bring in that fresh air, amen. Just go, <sighs> and be like, wow, that fresh air smells so good, amen. I don't have to put this stupid mask on, amen. I can breathe it in, so amen. And those that force you to wear a mask, well, <laughs> it's a bunch of garbage because you can't breathe very well on those things, and... Uh, just makes things worse, so take that mask off and uh, enjoy God's fresh air, amen, and don't worry about a virus because 
something else might kill you. Hey, man, it might not even be the virus at all. You might walk down the street and some drunk driver might run you over and kill you that way. Hey, man, or you might uh, be walking and somebody run up behind you and stab you with a knife. Or you could just die in your sleep. So, um, hey, man, so take that mask off and breathe in that fresh air. Hey, man. All right, so... Again, breathing is a blessing from God, amen, and God wants us to breathe in his fresh air, not put on a mask and and uh, breathe in our own air, so amen, all right, uh, enough about that tangent, <clears throat> all right, so again, moving on, uh, both submissive people and rebels are allowed to breathe, amen, in Deuteronomy 11, God says he sets both blessing and a curse before the people, then he affirms a blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. Deuteronomy 11.27 The blessing of the Lord that makes rich, and no sorrow is um, added, uh, mixed in, uh, is the blessing spawned in the heart of belief and obedience. <clears throat> in Christ, each believer has been promised a home in heaven, and the presence of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit for living on earth. Hallelujah. Uh, these are special blessings for each saved person. Beyond that, we are blessed when we obey God's word. Malachi 3 is a passage that links special blessings to faithful giving. Uh, Malachi 3, 8 through 12. And uh, we won't get into that The topic again. Uh, giving versus tithing, so <clears throat> that's um, mainly for the Jewish people, those that are of the nation of Israel. All right, continuing on, Samuel to, uh, told King Saul it was better to obey than to sacrifice and hearkening better than the ram offering. See 1 Samuel fifteen twenty two. So let's go ahead and look at that really quick. <clears throat> First Samuel fifteen twenty two. All right, First Samuel fifteen twenty two. <clears throat> All right, fifteen twenty two. It says, and Samuel said, "Hath the Lord, uh, hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams." Amen. Sure is. <clears throat> All right, uh, continuing on, here he says, as we conclude, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Numbers 6, 24 through 25. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that's the end of the topic, the basis of blessing. So praise the Lord. If we obey the Lord, he will bless us, and then there's those natural blessings that he gives both to the just and the unjust. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. All right, so uh, that is the end of today's topic. Amen. And All right, so put that aside there, and go ahead and get a drink of water really quick before we get into the hymn story. All right, so today's hymn story is from the hymn... He keeps me singing. <clears throat> All right, so if you're just joining, welcome. And we'll go ahead and read this hymn and hymn story. He keeps me singing. Amen. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. All right, so I'll go ahead and press play here. Not too familiar with this hymn either. Sure, I've heard it before, but I'll go ahead and read you the stanzas here. He keeps me singing, uh, written by Luther B. Bridgers. It says, There's within my heart a melody. Jesus whispers sweet and low, Fear not, I am with thee. Peace be still in all of life's ebb and flow. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my Every uh, longing keeps me singing as I go. Amen. Uh, all my life, uh, yeah, all my life was wrecked by sin and strife. Discord filled my life with pain. 
Jesus swept across the broken strings, string the slumbering chords again. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Feasting on the riches of His grace, resting neath His sheltering wing, always looking on His smiling face, that is why I shout and sing. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Though sometimes He leads through waters deep, trials fall across my way. Though sometimes the path seems rough and steep, uh, see His footprints all the way. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Soon He's coming back, amen, soon He's coming back to welcome me far beyond the starry sky. I shall wing my flight to worlds unknown, I shall reign with Him on high. Amen. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> so praise the Lord. Go ahead and just pause there for a minute, and uh, go ahead there and uh, give you the passage here. This was written in 1910, this hymn, and it's titled again, He Keeps Me Singing. And the passage is from Isaiah 35.10. So let me go there, Isaiah 35.10. Get there, Isaiah 35.10. All right. So Isaiah 35 and verse 10 says, uh, And the ransom of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Amen. Excuse me. All right, so that is the uh, passage, 3510. All right, now I'll go ahead and get into the hymn story here. All right, here we go. This is the hymn story behind the hymn, He Keeps Me Singing. It says, though battered by life, the patriarch Job declared that God is able to give us songs in the night. Job 35.10 It says, when the psalmist uh, Asaph felt overwhelmed, he consoled himself with God's song in the night. Psalm 77.6 God is strong enough to keep us singing, even in the night seasons. North Carolina native Luther Bridgers began preaching at age 17 while attending Asbury College in Kentucky. Afterward, he developed a reputation as an effective pastor, evangelist, ch uh, church planter. The Lord gave him a wonderful wife and three precious boys. In 1910, when Luther was 26 and the future seemed bright, he took his family to his wife's home in uh, Harrodsburg, Herod, Kentucky, southwest of Lexington. They were going to stay with her, her parents while Luther was on a preaching trip. One evening, a nearby neighbor, unable to sleep, rose in the night and glanced out his window. He was horrified to see flames. Racing across the field, he gave the alarm, but by that time the house was fully engulfed. Luther's in-laws eventually escaped, but his wife and son perished. We have a little note down here. Uh, Dr. Alfred B. Smith, the Dean of Gospel Music, says that Luther himself was at his in-laws that night and had to be restrained by neighbors from re-entering the collapsing inferno. Uh, <clears throat> uh, during the long, slow recovery from overwhelming grief, Luther su uh, suffered deep and almost suicidal depression, according to some sources. But he recalled the Bible's promise of songs in the night, and several months later he wrote both the words and the music for this gospel song about God's ability to keep him singing. Notice how he alludes to his tragedy in verse 4. Though sometimes he leads through waters deep, trials fall across the way, Though sometimes the path seems rough and steep, see his footprints all the way. 
Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. In 1914, Luther married again and became a general evangelist for the Methodist Episcopal Church South, a ministry that kept him occupied for the next 18 years. With a brief interruption after World War I, when he traveled to Belgium, uh, Czechoslovakia, and Russia doing evangelistic work. After 1932, he served as pastor in churches in Georgia and North Carolina, and retired in Gainesville, Georgia in 1945. He passed away in Atlanta in 1948. Wow, <clears throat> quite a story there. Amen. Not this man, uh, Luther uh, B. Bridgers. Amen. All right, so, praise the Lord. All right, so that is the end of the hymn today and hymn story. He keeps me singing. <clears throat> and tomorrow's hymn and hymn story is from the hymn, Our Great Savior, written by J. Wilbur Chapman and Rowland W. Uh, Pritchard. Uh, or uh, Pritchard. I'm not sure you how you pronounce that last name there. It's written in 1910. And the passage is from Hosea 13.4. Amen. <clears throat> All right, before uh, we wrap it up, I want to read these two passages here um, that he mentioned here, Job 35.10. So go ahead and read, read that one. Job 35.10. Read that. <clears throat> so Job 35, verse 10. It says here, all right. Let's see, Job 35.10, it says, But none saith, Where is God my Maker? Who giveth songs in the night. Amen. And then the other one was um, Psalm uh, 77 6. So Psalm 77 6. Alright. So Psalm 77 verse 6. It says, I call to remembrance my song in the night. Amen. I commune with mine own heart, and my spirit made diligent search. Amen. All right, so that was those two passages there that they were mentioning. Just wanted to read them for you. Amen. <clears throat> All right, so put that aside and sing some scripture songs before we wrap it up. Amen. All right, so we'll go ahead and sing yesterday's, and then we'll conclude with today's. All right, so we'll go back to yesterday's, 19th. Isaiah 12. One through six. And, and in that, that day thou shalt say, O Lord, Lord I will praise thee, though thou, thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God, God is my salvation, salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song, he also has become my salvation. Therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted, sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things, this is known in all the earth, cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. Amen. Here we go. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee, though thou art angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me, your God. Is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Joy shall ye draw water out of the well of salvation 
in that day shall ye say praise the Lord call upon his name declare on wings among the people make mention that his name his name is exalted Lord, Lord, he had done excellent things this is known in all the earth cry out and shout thou inhabitant of zion for great is the Holy One, the Holy One of Israel. And then shout, thou inhabitant of Zion. For great is the Holy One, the Holy One of Israel. In the midst of thee, in the midst of thee. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, now we'll conclude with today's. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 14.33 For God, God is not, not the author, author of confusion, of confusion but, but of peace, as, as in, in all, all the churches, churches of, the of the saints. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, but of peace. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints, as in all churches of the saints. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, but of peace. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. All right. So that'll about be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then tomorrow's Baptist Bread devotional topic. So tomorrow is the 21st and we'll be singing 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 52. And it says, Behold, yes, behold, I shall show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Amen. That's talking about when we get raptured up to be with the Lord in the air. Amen. So, praise the Lord for that. And that will be tomorrow's scripture song. Amen. And, and then tomorrow's topic will be titled... Right there... Tomorrow's topic will be titled, The Power of Prayer, Part 5. So I believe this is Part 5 in this series. I've been going through the last couple months, The Power of Prayer, Part 5. And this is um, going to be tomorrow's. And then the passage is from Acts 10.31. So hope you'll come back tomorrow for that. And then, of course, tomorrow's hymn story will be from the hymn, Our Great Savior. Amen. So praise the Lord for that. And if you'd like to get... Your hands on these devotional booklets. They're available on the website here at www.timgreenministries.org. And you can order them. They come in a box of 10. And if you order now, you'll get the ones for September and October. And then, of course, the scripture songs are available on the website at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And you can either order the CDs or download them through MP3 format if you like to listen to them on your phone or on your computer or some somewhere uh, like that if you don't have a cd player anywhere so amen all right and so that's available on that website and then of course you can order the book here then sings my soul 150 of the world's greatest hymn stories and there's three volumes to this and this is volume one and i think when i'm done with this uh, i'm going to order volume two so we can continue in these hymns and hymn stories amen because it's a good book so I might order volume two and then volume three, so we'll continue on to that. Amen. All right, and that's available on uh, the internet. You can either order it um, on the internet somewhere, like Amazon or abooks.com or one of those used bookstores online, or you could probably go to a used bookstore or any bookstore and see if they have it available there. 
Amen. And uh, this is the cover of it. I know it's backwards on the screen, but that's the cover of Volume 1. And Volume 2 is blue. And so, amen. All right. Well, that'll be it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, remember, only Jesus Christ can save your soul. So make sure you get that settled today so you don't step out into eternity and die in your sin and end up spending a tele uh, hell, uh, eternity without Jesus. Amen. All right. All right. Well, Brother Scott signing off. So see you all, Lord willing, tomorrow. Bye for now.